Hi, thanks for tuning in. Today I would like to teach you how to find the molecular mass of zinc hydroxide. I have a nice little table to help us out. Take a look. Bam, so the first step is we're going to write down the elements we see in the compound. So we've got zinc, oxygen, and hydrogen. Next is then to identify the number of atoms of each, and that's where the subscripts come into play. Now if you don't see a subscript there, just put in a 1. Okay, so we have one zinc. Good. We also have one oxygen, but careful. Oxygen is part of the polyatomic anion hydroxide, and we have two of them. So we technically have two oxygens. In other words, just simply take the inner subscript, multiply it by the outer to find the total. Hydrogen, then we would do the same thing. Just multiply those two numbers together, and that would be two. Then we're simply going to take those number of atoms and multiply it by the mass of each element. These masses are always found on the periodic table. So zinc is going to be 65.38, oxygen is 16, hydrogen is 1.01. .01, so let's write it down. So 65.38, oxygen is going to be 16, hydrogen is 1.01. .01. Then we're going to find the total mass of each element by simply multiplying this row and across. So the total mass of zinc here is going to be 65.38. The total mass of oxygen there is going to be 32. And then the total mass of hydrogen is 2.02. .02, all right? Total mass of the compound now is just simply found by adding up this particular column. It's as simple as that. And it's going to be 99.40. And the units there are in AMU, atomic mass unit, because we're finding the molecular mass. That's all there is to it. All right? Thank you so very much for tuning in. Consider liking and subscribing to help us out. We already have thousands of videos out there, and imagine how much more we can produce with more support. We love you guys. Take care.